In this video, we're going to take a look at working with bump textures in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this scene, I'm using the Robot and Pilot 01.C4D scene. It's a pretty simple scene. Uh, so let's speed things up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the uh, magnifier uh, from the render as well as the cube. So we're just looking at these two guys in the ground. And I'm actually going to be working mostly with the ground here. So it's just going to be a really simple exercise, but it gives you an idea of how to work with mum textures. So I have the uh, ground shader selected right here in the editor. Let's go to the basic tab, and I'm going to set this to a glossy material. And also, let's set this to path tracing, just so it's a little bit faster when it renders. So you can see I have a nice glossy material here. I'm going to increase the roughness. So let's bring up the roughness a little bit just so we don't have like a pure reflection there. And I'm gonna bring down the, uh, bring down the value on the diffuse. Okay. So let's go into the node editor. I'll go to materials, octane node editor, select my ground, here it is. And I'm gonna create an image texture and I'm going to be using a 16-bit grayscale image for my bump texture. So I'm going to go into the attributes here and under shader, I want to make sure that I set the channel format to half. So that's going to be 16-bit. Uh, float is 32, half is 16. And let's set the type to float, meaning that it's a grayscale image. So try not to get these two confused. Type, float, channel format, half. If it's an 8-bit image that you're using for bump, you can use uh, UINT8. Okay, so I have that set. Let's click on this texture right here. This button right here. I'm going to go into textures. I'm going to find gravel textures, and I'm going to choose this gravel height PNG. So I'll choose that. I'm going to copy it to my project directory, and then let's connect it to bump. And you can see we have very large gravel here is a bump shader on our ground. It's probably a little bit too big. So let's do this. Let's move this off to the side here so we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna go into the options for the image texture here and choose UV transform, expand this, and we can bring down the scale. So since this is a repeating texture, it should scale down pretty well. So something like that so we can see the individual rocks. So you can see now we have a nice gravel texture on the ground there. And then I can adjust the height of the uh, bump by going to the image texture and adjusting the power. So bringing the power all the way down to zero, we have no bump. So I can start to increase the strength of the bump just by bringing it up. I could even set this above a value of one, Let's say I set this to two, kind of overclocking it there, we get sort of extra rockiness. Let's bring this down to like point uh, two five or something like that. Another way to adjust the height, since we're essentially controlling the the uh, the values here, you could also adjust the the gamma as a way to kind of fine tune the look of the bump. So if I bring the gamma up, you can see. So the gamma is adjusting those mid values there. So you can take a look at how it responds in some of these areas. And we can use the power as well. So you can get a lot of variety out of adjusting both power and gamma on your bump textures. That's the basics of working with bump textures in Octane for Cinema 4D.